what's up guys how are you guys doing i hope you're well guess what we're in the volta region oh my god i'm so excited to explore this area there's so many videos that are coming up on the food the culture basically everything that is interesting in the volta region is going to be presented in this series in this first episode we're going to learn how Aigbe biscuits is made. Aigbe biscuits is a very popular type of biscuit that's gluten free. It's made from, I think, coconut or cassava. I'm not too sure, but we're about to find out. Mm. We have a lovely lady here whose name is Kelly and she's going to take us through the process. This video is in collaboration with Lemonade Finance, a mobile app that allows you to send money to Ghana, Kenya, and Nigeria from the UK and from Canada for free. Basically, there's zero fees when you send money using this Lemonade Finance app. Lemonade Finance also has the best rates, which means you're guaranteed complete value for your money. If you're not in Canada or in the UK, don't worry. They are planning on launching in Europe and in the US in the next few months. And once that happens, I'll be the first to share with you guys. I have used Lemonade Finance and it works really well. It's super fast. It's completely free, as they said. Make sure you check it out. You can download the app using the referral link in my description box below. Or if you download the app using the app store, you can use my referral code, which is Jasmine Ama. All of that information will be in the description box below. Go on and check them out. Oh, so this is what it looks like when yeah. you buy it in the market. Mm. Oh, okay. Six. You mix it. Do you measure the water? Do you measure? No, yeah. you don't. You just add it. Okay. Then you leave it so that the sun will set on, the on it. Oh, okay. For how long? Like five minutes or two. Oh, okay. You put, you leave this overnight. Yeah. The next day, you pour the water away and then you have this mixture here. Yeah. And then you cover this with cloth. Yeah. And then you put sand on the cloth. Yeah. Okay, what does that do? So that the water... It will absorb more of the water. water. Ah, okay. It looks creamy, but it's not. It's very crumbly. Ah, so some. it looks like a lot of the moisture is out of this one. So the next step for this will be to dry it. Wow. So once it becomes really dry, then it's ready. Yeah. Oh, it feels a bit like gari. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is this the same as tapioca? Or is yeah, yeah, it's the yeah, same yeah. as tapioca. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 cool. So they buy the starch from the market um, in that sack that we showed you earlier on. So once she dilutes it, she separates, she lets it sit for a while so the sand settles at the bottom and she pours the good part into a different bowl. She lets it set overnight and then she pours the water away until she has that thick mixture you saw earlier on. And then once that's done, she covers that with a piece of cloth, puts sand or ashes or something on it to absorb more of the moisture. And then she, they dry out for a whole day, she says. They dry in the morning until all the moisture is out. So it's just going to be um, garbage. You don't want to be popular. <laughs> so this is very like old coconut. Yeah. The one they used to make coconut oil and stuff yeah. like that. Okay, cool. So you break it and take it out of the shell. Yeah. Okay. Then you wash it. Mm -hmm. Then we go and grind it. Oh, you grind it as well? Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Do you dry it before grinding no, it? No, 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 no. You just as it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hey guys so we're heading to the mill um kelly and i are heading to the mill so we go and grind the coconut so we can come back and start with the uh process for making the biscuits so we're making these biscuits kelly mm. over 30 years so hey ah uh, we're home ah uh, your okay. mom has been doing it for a long time yeah. oh, okay okay so she taught you and then you you started doing yeah, it as I was well born it too. oh okay so do you sell it as well yeah 
Do you make good money from it? Yeah. Yes, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> done at the mill now and um, the uh, coconut was grinded I think it was about four times to get the right consistency and now we're heading back uh, to the house to continue the biscuit making yeah. process stay tuned and give us a thumbs up if you haven't already really hot as you can see <laughs> I'm sweating as soon as I wipe my face I get sweaty again anyways we've made it back home and we're about to continue the process so do you measure the salt or you just add it you just add you just, add just add use eyes to measure. to measure it okay you miss it with the so salt. what does the salt do so that it will add taste to it taste okay yeah. okay How like how you are preparing food, you add, you add salt. salt. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Like this one, you add three bowls. Of three water. bowls of water. So now you are getting all the water out. So which of them are you going to use? The water or the thing that's left in the... The water. The water. So what happens to the thing that's in the scarf? You add another water again and oh. squeeze it. Oh, that's okay. the chaff. Then you dry the chaff. You dry the chaff. What do you do with the chaff? Uh, nothing really. People oh, really? come to buy it to fill with this thing. Pig and those things. Oh, so okay. Right. So we're at the stage where Kelly is now separating the water, the liquid from the coconut from the chaff. She said the chaff, they dry it and they sell it to people so they can feed it to animals like pigs and stuff like that. The liquid is the part that we're going to use in the biscuit making. After squeezing it, then you add sugar. Mm -hmm. You miss it. This one is for making... It's for what? Start biscuits, not jolly. Which one do we call it like, baby seeds? You can choose to call it one. This one? Yeah. The starch biscuits. Oh. The three people call it like that. Ah, okay. Yeah, we call it a one. So Kelly just told me she's making um, two types of biscuits. So I thought they were all the same, but apparently there's two different types. The one with the eggs and the nutmeg and all that stuff is called jolly. <laughs> Apparently that's what it's called. I've never had that one. Before. And then the popular one we all know as Aigbe biscuits is called. It's apparently Akono or Akwano. I'll ask her again. That's what they call it locally. Or starch biscuits. The starch biscuit, aka Aigbe biscuit, is also called Akono. This is the Akono one. Mm. Kelly said once the tapioca is mixed with the coconut milk, they let it sit overnight before they prepare it for baking. 
So Kelly had dough that had already sat overnight. So we prepared that for baking. Basically, she takes the little ball, rolls it up, and then flattens it on the baking tray, and it goes into the mud oven. So the mud oven doesn't cook the biscuits whilst there's fire in there. They basically create the heat in there with fire, sweep out the fire, and then put the biscuits in, shut the door, cover it with damp cloth to make sure that the heat is trapped in there and it cooks the biscuits in like 15 minutes. It's very simple, but it's still a lot of work. My gun will be a bango. It's only the yolk that we use. Oh, okay. You don't use the white. How many eggs are you, egg yolks are you going to add? Like 30 or 20. It depends. It depends on the water. Okay, Kelly. So you've added a nutmeg, I see. And what is this? Rosemary? Nkiti kiti. Yeah, nkiti nkiti. Oh, okay. So do you measure it or add any quantity? Any quantity you like, okay. This is baking powder. Oh, okay. Oh, you didn't add enough earlier on. Yeah, that one is not enough. Okay, so you're just adding a bit more. <laughs> Because like they go to the farm. So at this point, the dough for the Jolly Biscuits is ready and she is going to knead it a little bit and then get little balls out, just like she did with the first one. But then this, they're going to use a cookie cutter to stamp it. And just, I guess that's just to distinguish between the two types of biscuits that they have for sale. As you guys can see it's a very communal effort so this is my two cents i'm using the biscuit thing to put like this i don't know this is not a biscuit cutter it's a i don't know something that lets you leave an imprint on the thing so that's what we're doing right now I'm done guys. How did I do? <laughs> it looks really good, doesn't it? the same amount of time as you do the starch biscuits no. the starch biscuits is quicker yeah oh okay we've just put the jolly biscuits into the oven and um, basically they sweep out the fire 
and then put the biscuits inside and then cover it so the heat is what cooks it she said uh, it depends on the heat in there that's what determines how long they're gonna cook it for so it's in there and we're giving it a few minutes to see what happens <laughs> <laughs> so a pack like this goes for 20 cds so as you can see it's a lot there's a lot in here it's gonna last for ages it's very very cheap so this is what it looks like so when you go on the roadside this is what you will see it's very okay it's not as crumbly as a regular cookie or biscuit it's a little bit tougher but the flavor is very that coconutty, any. sweet. There's a little bit of sourness from the tapioca as well. But it's really, really delicious, especially if you're hungry. Like, if you're on the road and you're starving, this is a good snack to go to. Because it's not bad for you either. It's gluten-free as well, so for the gluten-free people out there, you can definitely give this a go. It's delicious, really, really good. You need to have good teeth, though, <laughs> to be able to eat these. Anyway. So we're basically done with the, the jolly biscuits and she's taking them out of the oven. It was in there for probably half an hour or so. So we're gonna do a taste test shortly. Okay. So these are still warm guys. I think they probably had enough the more they cool. Um I've definitely had this before. I thought this was like baby biscuit too, but apparently there are two different ones. So this one is the one with nutmeg, egg, and all that. It tastes quite similar, but this one is not as hard and crunchy. This is a little more crumbly, like a regular biscuit, basically. Mm, this is delicious. I think I prefer this one <laughs> to the other one. Yeah, I've had this before. Never had it warm though. Yum, this is good. This is definitely my favorite one. If you guys ever end up in the Volta region, or even if you drive past the Volta region, heading towards anywhere, make sure you try Jolly Biscuits, the crunchy one that I showed you earlier on the starch biscuit, which we normally call Aigbe Biscuit. They're so, so good, gluten-free. They're a sweet snack that will fill you up until you can get proper. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow your bliss so na life is short. Follow your bliss na nipaye den. Follow your bliss na di ebesi biaye and follow your bliss na den and mada. Take care, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to check out Lemonade Finance. All their information will be in the description box below. Bye. Hey, hey, you go to my money, stop my money. I don't mind, I don't care, I don't care. Oh, but say, gay, say, gay, oh, but you say, I am, 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 I am